Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here, and I've got a special project for you guys today. Well, for you to see, for me to do. I have gone into the next mode of changing shit. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to redo the studio, sort of. I have in my head what I want to do. I mean, I only have so much room in here that I can deal with. And, you know, I mean, fortunately, building this this little contraption here, you know, I can wheel this around anywhere I want to. So I'm just going to sort of change things around a little bit. Nothing drastic and just uh, have to take a trip to Ikea and get a couple of things and then get busy. So I'm going to bring you along today's project, changing up the office. I'm sorry, not the office changing up the studio. So let's get cracking. Okay, other than just fixing up the holes in the wall, that's pretty much all the deconstruction I needed to do. Nothing else needs to be moved or fixed or anything. I am gonna have to rearrange some stuff in the library and take one of the older bookshelves out to make the white ones fit in there, which makes sense because they're all white, all the built-ins are white. So I gotta do that, but that won't take me too long. I need to get to Ikea though. That's why I wanna do all this prep work now instead of just going there, coming back, and then doing everything all at once. This way, it's all ready to go. I just have to put a couple of things together. Now what I'll do is I'll fill in that, you know, the big hole and the little holes with some spackling so it can start drying. And in this friggin' heat, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, I mean, the hardest part was getting this thing to start again because it's all dried up there. But otherwise, there, filled in the holes, and one thing I'm gonna have to do when I'm, you know, after I leave Ikea is I'm gonna have to figure out, I still have three Aperture MC lights left, and I think I'm gonna mount at least a couple of those so that there's light on each side of that, just so I can get like an ethereal glow behind me. I mean, that's what I bought these damn things for, is to use them, so now that I have the overhead setup set up, I think what I'm gonna do is take it off of that table because that table, I use so much for work stuff that it's it's become a pain in the ass to, have to move all the shit off that table and do my overhead shots and then put everything back together. So I think what I'll do is once I get the new table, because I'm buying a new table, is I will then transfer the overhead setup to the new table. So all that shit is over here. And that way, I mean, I barely had any plugs over there. I had those all plugged into USB ports on an existing like multi outlet thing. So I'll probably redo all that, get it all in here and hope it works out all right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, that's it for my prep here at home. So let's go to Ikea. All right, kids, mission accomplished with a slight change. I also impulse bought a couple other items that I thought would look pretty cool. At least I think they will, so I hope you dig them too. But that's it. That's all I needed to get. I wasn't going to go in there and buy a ton of shit. And I ended up spending less on the table and the impulse buy shit than I would have if I had ordered a table that I was going to get off of Amazon. And I also got it right away. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Okay, let's go home, put this shit together, and rebuild my studio. It is sweltering in our place. I guess it's the weekend of heat wave around here. I'm, I'm actually staggered when I walked in. It's so hot in here. And right now the air that is in those vents is almost 80 degrees. So those aren't gonna kick on until it's blowing 70. And I just don't see that happening. And I've had the blinds closed in the entire place to try to keep as much you know, direct sunlight from coming in and heating it up but it, it's just oppressive. And 
it's going to make doing all this construction that much more difficult, but let's get to it. So I only use the drill to get the most of the way in, but you don't want to use like a power drill to super tighten it up because you never know when your finger might just twitch and then you end up splitting the wood. Nice touch. The bottoms of these legs have little feet that you can screw out or screw in to level out your table. Of course, I probably won't need that since I'm putting this down on carpeting. Ta-da! Table's built. See how quick that was? Now, what I need to do is move the overhead system over to this, and then I need to run the power for all the lights. Then we're, well, then we're not done because I still need to vacuum in here. So I'm actually gonna move all this shit back out of the way and vacuum this room, even though it's sweltering hot in here and that's gonna make the heat go up by like 20 degrees. But better that I do it now and get all that cleaned up and then I'm good to go. scientific method here. All right, almost out of battery, and I'm almost done. Okay, I am absolutely drenched. It's 20 after 12, this has taken me about two and a half hours but I think I got it all done now. Okay, I'm about to run out of battery. Whew. Okay, kids. I can't even begin to tell you how hot it is in here, other than to tell you for like the, the hundredth time. It's friggin' hot in here. Like, it's not even hot as balls. It, it's as hot as a room full of balls. It's just sweltering. I was going to grab my camera and go into Pleasure House Point, you know, because I checked the temperature outside and it said that it was 96, but felt like 108. So it seems like a dumb monkey thing to do. Well, then I got hung up on playing around with this whole setup now that I've got everything kind of where I want it. I ran cables. I, I got them all like cinched together and, and run with power. I've got them plugged into uh, smart plugs, like this little Casa thing. So now the head back there, and although you can't see it, it's kind of disappointing, but that actually is a head and I can change the colors or I can have it scroll through the colors I found out. So I stopped it on the pink and it just looks like a white light. And now if I go back here, you can see how it makes my hair all pink. Uh, that's because my hair is drenched because I'm hot as balls. Um, I also played with this rolling stand and I have moved shit and plugged stuff in and unplugged stuff, moved the Ninja, moved the camera, lifted the camera, lowered. I did all this crazy shit trying to get it to, to kind of be where I want it to be and still can't really get it to where I want it to be. Right here is where it's gonna freaking stay because I'm like looking at myself and right now I have the 35 F14 G Master on just because I wanted to get the 1.4 and see what it looked like. Now, here I am, I'm sitting in the chair and I'm leaned all the way back. If I put my head back to there, I'm. I'm touching the monkey. <laughs> if I lean all the way forward and I got my elbows on the table and my gut pushed up to the table, 
this is what it looks like. So I kind of got a lot of, you know, like head and shoulders in there uh, and I'm kind of blocking the light, which is okay. Pardon my shine. I don't have any makeup on and it would have been sweat, sweated away by now anyways. And my hair just keeps falling down into my face. All right, so anyway, so I have moved this rolling stand. I've moved this table. I have redone the lighting. I've redone where the camera is. I've redone where the Ninja is. I've redone the freaking menu system on this A7 IV. And right now, if I hold my fingers out there, my hand, I am, my hand is about halfway between my melon and the camera. So it's too far away and I would have to run around there, turn it on, run right back around here. So what I did was I went into the magical drawers and I pulled out the Sony VP, GP, DD, VD, SDT remote and repaired it with the camera. And now I can do cool things like zoom, unzoom, and I can start and stop recording. And I guess I can take a photo too and all that kind of shit. So, I mean, it works. It works for now. We'll see what that does to my battery life. So I think I kind of got this where I want it. I love the separation here that I can see on screen that, that everybody seemed to comment on the last time when I did it. Of course, I, you know, I know Yankee Cowboy likes it when I'm angled towards my office shit, but I just broke my ass and, and sweat like two people's worth of sweat off to get this all set up. So this is what you're getting for a while. The way I had this all set up with my Aperture MC lights for my overhead setup and so that I can do my day job stuff and take pictures of my receipts and all that kind of shit. And then the head that's casting pink right now, and you can kind of see in the curtains how it goes from blue to pink. It's kind of the effect that I'm going for. I wanted to add some color into the background instead of just the cobalt blue walls. As it stands right now, this now cuts into my studio space, my office space, and I will have a little bit of a slalom course here to get to the window and all that kind of shit, but it's the price to pay for my art. I wanted to get this set up because I started doing all that overhead shit again. Now, another reason I'm gonna do the overhead stuff is because, I don't know, I might actually make a bracelet and film it, you know? I might actually go into the bag that I haven't touched since I put everything together and do some journaling. Studio is done. The, the, the redoing of the studio, I am all finished. I need to get the hell out of this office because I am literally gonna pass out. Let me know what you think. I want to know what you what you actually think about this. And I did include the picture. You saw the picture at the front of the video, but I threw it into the video as well, or I'll throw it in now so that you can kind of see what it all looks like. And, and it's relatively close. And, you know, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, throw them at me. I'd love to hear it. But that's it for now. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.